we've had someone ask on the podcast, how does someone from a criminal background run a stroke business? What sort of, where they can get training? Well, the bottom line is, I'll give you an example where I met a drug dealer, he dealt in cannabis, he was a Rastafarian. And I said to him, when you get your bit of gear, do you test it to make sure it's good? He said, yes. I said, that's quality control. I said, when you're looking at selling it, do you look where you're going to get the highest price? What area? He said, yeah. I said, that's called market researching. I said, and when you've done all that, I said, and you want to get it out, you pick the people who's going to sell it for you. He said, yeah. I said, that's networking. So he had already had all the skills. You've already got all the skills because of being a villain. You have to have skills to survive. You've got them skills, but what you've been using them skills for is negativity, not positivity. If you were selling Chanel instead of cannabis, you'd be driving a Porsche and the policeman would be saluting you, not kicking your door in at five in the morning. So it's your choice. But you've got to look at the structure of business. You've got to learn how to keep books. You've got to learn how to network. And you've got all that. Just use the networking, the, 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 the quality control, everything you've already got and turn it into a positive thing. But there is a structure within a business you must know you must have a professional accountant. You must have a good lawyer for contracts if you're doing contracts. And you must have belief in yourself. You can't have your foot in two camps. You're either a villain or you're a straight goer. And if you want to be a straight goer, you've got to start thinking like a straight goer and thinking, I really want this. And it ain't easy. You're going to have your faults. You're going to have your times that you're up. You're going to have your times when you're down. But you've got to have that belief in yourself and you've got to really want it with all your heart. So if you want it with all your heart, go and do an open university. Go and do studying. You can go in a library. There's no excuse for you not to be able to get information. Remember what, you know, what I've always said is education is liberation. And education gives you the structure for your business. So don't ever knock education because that's going to earn your power notes. And we all like money. And the name of the game is earning money and keeping it. Not uh, if you earn money the crooked way and the police, and they're not idiots, they're going to nick you, law of averages, you know, at the end of the day, and they'll take all your wealth off you. It's called criminal enterprise, and they can take your money that you've gone out stealing. So basically, you're all going to do birds for nothing. Better if you run your own business or get into a business. Best way to learn a business, if you think they're doing a business, go and work in that business first, learn all the mistakes in that business, and then when you've learned all that, and you've still got a wage coming in so you can survive because you're working, then you can run your own business because you know how that business is run. The mistakes they've made, you're not going to make because you've seen the mistakes they're making and you'll be a successful businessman. And, you know, you'll have a good life and you'll have loads of money and a happy life.